everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my Crafty Dan. This uh, is just a short reveal to show you what I have done in the coffee area um, of my kitchen. I have an open concept kitchen, living room, and dining room that is completely in transformation right now. And some, we've been just using pieces that we had and I am, I am waiting for some nice weather to get outside and be able to paint the actual pieces that I want to use here. Now I don't want to bring everything in, set it up, then have to take it back down again and paint it. So for the, um, the interim, I have my coffee bear bar set up on um, a little right there is just a little upper cabinet with a tile across the top to set some things on and this is a this piece wants to be painted and transformed as well but for now it's just a two drawer a big double wide filing cabinet um just goes to show you can use anything for anything and so for right now i have my coffee maker with my somebody loves me cup on it um, a little vase which is just a um, little bottle that I painted my cream from Ray Dunn and it has just some um, creamer packets in it because we usually use cream but I keep about eight or nine you know crap uh, creamer packets in there for when my sister comes for coffee because she's lactose intolerant and she can only use that. Um, that is the little jar that I got from Dollarama to put our Splenda in. The little sign that I created and above I have the shelf on this side um that I keep some of my ray done on that's going to be moved in shortly and this is a few things on the wall now I created this sign with the hooks to put my rolling pins on and I created this just out of a little scrap of wood and um I just printed out the ampersand on my my printer and then traced it onto the uh, piece of wood over top of some white chalk paint painted it by hand the whole thing and then just sanded it down and I have my three tiered tree tray that I created um, using two springform pants and a couple candlesticks and a little cake pan mine jar that I got recently the little treats jar is just a, um, a DIY apothecary jar that I created a while ago and I put some jelly beans in it and put the treats on the outside and I just wrote that on there. And then I have this little mug rack here that holds some of my Ray Dunn mugs. So I'm going to show you what's on my three-tiered tray that I created. Let's start at the bottom. So this is the um, kitchen towel with the fringe on it that I got in a three-piece set from your dollar store with more because I just really liked it. It's a linen it has a nice long fringe on it and is so pretty and then I have my hop mug with some of those glittered uh, Dollar Tree Easter eggs these are the foam ones and they're on picks so I just put them in the mug this is the little egg cup that I got from the thrift store I got three of these so um, the little egg cup I got and some of those little Dollarama glittered carrots this is one of the little bunnies that I got from Dollarama and at the back with some stir sticks and some sprigs of lavender is the little strawberry mug 
Let's see if we can get in there. The little or raspberry mug. Sorry, sorry, it's just a tiny little mug too. Very much smaller. You can see how much smaller that little mug is than the big Ray Dunn ones. And then this is the little bird uh, bird nest that I got at Dollar Tree. But I ripped off those purple sprigs that were on here, and kind of it was really covered in florals. So I ripped off one of the blue flowers and some of the purple sprigs and kind of pared it down so it looked more like a more natural nest. And it's got the little blue glitter bird and eggs in there. And I think that's really cute. So that's the way that level looks. And then come up to the next level. I thrifted the salt and pepper, these two. Um, they're little mug salt and peppers ceramics from um, the ReStore. And I ordered the little decals to put salt and pepper on there. Um, they were just plain. And there's a little story behind them because they weren't very heavy when I got them. And I thought, gee, there can't be anything in them. But they're a heavy enough um, little mug shaker that... I couldn't tell and I threw them in my sink and ran hot water over them and started to wash them and the pepper flooded out. My whole sink was full of pepper. What a mess. And there was a little bit of salt in there, but not much, but they cleaned up really, really well. And um, yeah, I don't have anything in them right now. They're just down here for decoration. So then I've got another one of, whoops, I don't want to knock this whole thing over. I've got another one of these little bunnies. This is the one that I just recently hauled. Um, the third one is on the other tray that I just created. And then another one of those little egg cups with the chicken on it. Now this, let's see if I can get in here. See that little glass chicken in the with the egg cup? That is just so adorable. So I put, let me stand this back up. I really gave it a bump. Now the middle tray on this is a little bit shaky. The top one and the bottom one are really good, but this one is really shaky. So I don't put anything on here that I'm going to be taking off and putting back on. Um, it's strictly for decor. I put the jar that I painted to look like a little birdhouse with a sprig of purple um, floral on both sides. So that's what the second layer looks like. And then the top layer, I left it very plain and I just saw this birdhouse with the little See the little green bird? He is so cute. But this is one the one that I decoupaged, and it's got the florals on the roof. And, um, yeah, so that's what I have for my coffee bar set up until I get my proper furniture in here to do it. Now, my hutch is that I'm going to set my coffee bar up on is 52 inches long, so I'll be able to spread this out a little bit more. It's also deeper, so I'll be able to set it up. And, uh, I, yeah, I can't wait for that. So... This is what the whole wall looks like. Now, on this side here, I have this little stand that holds liquor bottles, and um, I do not have a, a liquor cart yet. That's one of the things that I want to get. There won't be room for this here when I get my china cabinet, because my china cabinet's going to kind of go here, like um, in this part right here, and then my buffet will fit beside it and go down the wall to my window. So yeah, I can't wait. This stuff will be, I want to keep this in that area, in my coffee area, because um, just simply because the I love the sign that says home where our story begins. And I just, that was one of my very first projects. And I absolutely love that. It was kind of the thing that got me going on DIYs in the first place. Um, yeah, it was just from out of necessity because I had those rolling pins. Now one is mine, one is one of my grandmothers. The other one was one of my other grandmothers. And it was my other grandmother. It's not like I have more than two. And um, this one, this little thinner one right here was actually mine. And the other ones I picked up, um, the green one and the red one, 
uh, I just liked them. I liked the colored handles. So that means a lot to me, that little display. So yeah, when I get my china cabinet and my buffet over here, and my buffet has lots of storage room and lots of display places, I am going to be really thrilled about that. But that's a fairly hefty project and the weather has to be better. So I hope you enjoyed this little reveal of my coffee station set up for Easter and my three-tiered tray. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and by all means, subscribe if you would like to see more of my DIYs and home decor and uh, Ray Dunn collecting. So, and I also do hauls as well. So that's it for today. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day, everybody. Enjoy the sunshine. Uh, spring is kind of here. It feels like it's just around the corner. I know it's officially here by the date, but it kind of feels like it might be just around the corner. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. So bye-bye for now, and I will definitely see you in the next video.